Okay. When these guys get hit by a car, he didn't answer my question at once. It turns out that when this, this area here gets hit and pushed in, it actually rips the periosteum that this is still connected to, and it pushes it inward. So this piece of bone right here, and up around the inside of here, actually has a piece of periosteum that is missing. So when the periosteum is missing, this is going to be a sequester before long. Okay? So it's just basically going to fall off. The bad news is we don't know how, how much time. I used to sedate these guys and actually grind all this stuff away. Um, but when it comes to a water turtle, I want to make sure this is, you know, we need to give it a little bit more time. So while the heart's going to take this guy back, put him in one of their pools, and we're going to wait and see how much this is going to live or die. And at, some, at that point in time, I'll grind that away. If it were a tortoise, I'd be a little bit more aggressive and probably good because these guys, you know, this, this is going to be a zero gravity creature underwater. They wouldn't have to worry about it so much. But for something that's above water, gravity is a big issue, and things that fall on it in it may get trapped a lot more. Okay, so anyway, with that in mind, uh, this here is still connected to the periosteum. Eventually, all this little pink tissue here is going to fill in with uh, like a fiber cartilage, and that whole area there will just be almost as hard as this. And uh, it's got to, that will live a decent life. Girl, sorry. Not trying to be sexist. <laughs> All right, that's it for now. Is Back to Wild and Heart for a while, yeah.